got We will see. I mean, You're so afraid of competition that you want to be fourth. No, I'm not. I'm not, bro. I got two more minutes. I'm taking that free win. <laughs> no, I'm going to take chicken until 1v1s against Bang Top. I don't know. See, look, it's been froze the whole time. Yeah. Not sitting back up. I don't know. One minute, folks. One minute. We got we got a camera issue somehow. I don't know. It's weird with the drivers because I mean, I just can't see that uh, these web camera Windows drivers are that much different. No, I don't know. I mean, it's you know? just it's actually weird. I hope I hope the voice is coming through good. It's just weird that it's like smooth for a little bit and then drops and then smooth. I don't know. One second. All right, we're back. Okay. They're asking if we're spectating. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. Ready to get this kicked off. Wukong is a jungler. They are getting in line here, so Edict of Eden. <laughs> are you gonna be coaching us this game? <laughs> Negative. Started. We're ready to rock and roll, I think. I'm ready for them to kick this off. Here we go. Starting right at 431, so we're getting a Whoa, right on dude. the end there. Yeah. Being just not good. Yeah. Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this draft going. Camera's locked up again. Oh, yeah, no, I remember when it locked up, and I was like, oh, that's a great, great expression I'm making. Oh, yeah. I'm tempted once it goes live, we'll just go to um, just game, and I think we'll be okay. I agree. Just kick the camera out. We can just do the voiceover without it. We don't have to have the. Right. We'll leave it up for, for the intro, but. Yeah. That way you at least get to see who is talking. Yeah. Make sure it seems like I always get a phone call or something when we're right in the middle of this. And yeah, but some of those you, we got to take. I know. That's why I'm just put it up there where I can see. All right. Yeah, late start today, but Clinton. We're, we're not waiting on anybody. Fire this fire this bad boy up. Everybody's here. Let's go. I don't know. All right. We got the first band here. So. 
No Lucian. Yeah, I don't know nothing about no, no, no Lucian. Hot Spring at all. I know they they got a little crash course in uh, band or the scouting them, but you know they couldn't have done an excellent job. We just found win. out about 10, 15 minutes ago who was going to be playing. Yeah, let's try to get that worked on tomorrow and see if we can get out of this queue mess and get us straight into a game. All right, so we they band the set and the swing. And the swing, yeah. If I want it, I'll beat it out buy, of you. So those are out the window. One more band, and then I think we'll have our first pick, Chuck. No. Right. Yellow Jackets came out real strong last this week, Chuck. Huh? really hot. Okay. Make sure we're not hitting to the Elgato. Make sure we're not rocking and rolling way too loud. Exactly. Well, it wasn't the Elgato. All I right. Why we got that much noise coming out of the desktop? I hope it's not an echo, but hopefully not. But hey, turn it down a little bit. Can't hurt anything, can it? Yeah, worst case scenario, you lose yeah, some of the game and the audio. Yeah. yeah. But it shouldn't, usually it doesn't have noise right now. Well, it's got music in the background. Oh. Yeah, while you're drafting, it does have a little bit of music. Got the Chicken Lord going to be playing Mordekaiser, Chuck. I like it. Yeah, he's been working on Mordekaiser. He even got a little test session with some of the more senior players right before the game. I think he's feeling pretty confident about that Mord. Looks like he's going to be playing into a gangplank. Pretty pretty high likelihood, and an ooh deer over here will probably be in the jungle. So hot springs uh, starting out with a pretty common uh, pick for jungle and, and, and for today top lane. We're going to go with Colonel Garfield back in the jungle, and he's going to probably pick Ramus there. Hey, I, I like it. Ramus very tanky, hard to deal with in the jungle. Great in team fights. So. Not Wave's going to do some Moo Moo damage. I guess he liked seeing what the um, the Dane was doing with the Moo Moo. Chuck, he had to get him some. I was going to say the Moo Moo there, and I'm positive he's picking for the support uh, there. Uh, between Ramus and a Moo Moo both, you know how right. much CC that is? Yeah, you're probably right. That is an insane amount of CC. If they do not get any CC at all from any other champions in this draft. They don't want a Moo Moo band out. That's what's happening. Okay. Uh, I think that's right. I yeah. forget I forget they trick C's. Yep. Looks like we're gonna have Vars uh, over in the in the ADC role, would be my guess. Very common. Could be a mid pick, but it, that's kind of meta, so I'm not looking for that right now, but I'm excited about this uh, Moo Moo Ramus, and you know Mordekaiser's ultimate really just takes someone out of the picture uh, equation of a team by the future. So that that is if yeah, they can that's get if some, you can afford to lose Mordekaiser in the team fight yourself as a tank. Well, if they get um, some really high damage output to go with that comp chuck, that's going to be pretty hard to deal with. Understood. No Jin, Jin being banned out here. Said so he got another pick coming in here from our yellow jacket, so we'll see where they go with this. I'm not sure if they're going to get uh, ADC or mid uh, next. Your worst so I, I, I really like you. this draft so far, Chuck. I'm excited about it. Going to ban out the Morgana. They don't want to see that in the bottom lane I don't, or mid. Either one, I don't blame them. Morgana is very annoying to play against. They're going to go with the Aurelian Soul here, I bet, Chuck. Now, that's that that's a champion that's just been reworked. Very powerful right now on the Rift, so uh, I like that pick out of Hot Springs. Looks like that's probably going to be in the mid, Chuck, and that's going to be really nice. Oh, and they switched to Vigar right at the very end. <laughs> Chuck, what do you think about that Vigar? <laughs> I think Vigar should be permaban. <laughs> I, uh, I can't disagree with you there, man. He's tough, especially in late game. Going to have some mirror uh, in the ADC role for these Yellow Jackets. That's uh, Ghost Dragon plays that Samira very well. Going to have an Annie in the mid. Hey, we've got another Tibber Smash, Chuck. I, I think we w, got it. WCC better watch out because. Bring her down. Bring because we heard, we're, we're uh, breaking out Chuck's Tibbers here. I said, I'm telling you, uh, White County Central better look out because these Yellow Jackets have liked playing this Annie so far, and it's worked out great for them, yeah. to tell you the truth. 
Wyatt County Central, being the Bears, their mascot is a Devers. We've got an Orn over here uh, for Hot Springs. It's probably going to be in the top lane. I'm not sure how they're going to do that with the gangplank, Chuck. I'm kind of curious what they're going to It's interesting do. how they're set up. Yeah. It's like, are they in order? Or are they just... I think they're just completely <laughs> showing us whatever they want to show us. Um, like I said, Orn would normally be top lane, but now he could be jungle. I mean, maybe uh, I really look for the Udir to be jungle, though. And yeah, the ours is set up top, how they'll so. be playing. Top, jungle, mm, mid, mid, ADC support. ADC support uh, maybe it is an Orn support, Chuck. That Orn can be played in the support role, so oh, that, sure. that, that probably yeah, and, is and right. And Bagger does look like a mid. I mean, gameplay. Yeah. And the new deer, it's... It could be. It could be in order. Uh, they, it could be, Chuck. I don't know. I mean, this, and these could be a couple of meta picks here just from uh, patches in the last week. I know Aurelian Soul has just just reworked uh, about a week ago, a week and a half. Uh, Udir was reworked at the end of last year, so he's not, he's not been out too long. So these could definitely just be some meta picks here. Uh, Gangplank is normally a top laner, but I have seen him played in the mid lane as well, so. Said so maybe this Hot Springs team is just trying to bring in a different look to kind of throw these Yellow Jackets off a little bit. I do like our team's draft. It's a very solid draft, I think. Uh, very standard draft, I would say. Uh, I got Mordekaiser that can that can go uh, ramping damage or tank. Ramus definitely can be tank. Uh, and then and then Tibbers, your extra free tank. Yep. That's right. Tibbers, the extra free tank there with the Annie. Short range mage. A little bit different than a lot of the other uh, champions in the game. Samira, uh, long range, or not long range, but mid range and short range champion because she can use uh, her sword or her revolver. So uh, both both options there. And Amumu is just a stunning machine. So. Excited yeah. to see how these how these lanes. We play are out. built for the team fight, which that's, I love to see. Yeah. That's what made Don Tyson so great, and that's how we beat Don Tyson last week. Uh, you know, I know it's their B team, but I still like saying it. Uh, I'll, I'll broadcast good, that to Coach Sniff all I want to. It, it, we beat Don Tyson last it, week. It has a nice ring to it, doesn't it, Chuck? <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> sure does. And Tibbers was involved. In yeah, t Tibbers was involved with that shenanigans. That's for sure. No, excited to get kicked off here. Week two of Clinton Yellow Jacket Esports action coming at you here. So, yep, we're hoping our stream stays stable. We've been troubleshooting it. We've been trying to figure it out. Um, the camera does seem to be working better now, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it up. I guess we're gonna have to put in a tech ticket, Chuck. Yeah, we don't have we don't have anybody on campus that handles those. No, we're gonna not, have to go not ahead after and put school. in a ticket. No, they're too busy coaching esports. All right, 20 seconds left. We'll be going live with this. We do have a three-minute delay, as always, in these games. Um, that is so that no team has an advantage of seeing beyond the um, fog of war. Yep. Three, two, switching over. I wonder if we're going to have to jump start this one once we get it up. I'm going to go with yes. We're probably going to have to bust out the kickstart. But now the last game, it didn't have that air, that the, the spoiler alert, three minutes in. So that's good. Uh, looks like we do not win the skin war here, Chuck. That's, that's a little concerning uh, to me that, that we're not winning the skin war. Yeah, no, they kind of got us pretty good there. Yeah. But we have a lot of people playing a lot of different positions there. Hey, no jump start, Chuck. No, we didn't have to do any of the jump start. It's some kind of riot they, miracle. Well, they um, listened to us. You they know, probably watched our last stream. That's your They, they lost their, watched our last stream, knew that we were begging for that to be fixed. Items. Let's get that up. Yep. Oh, we got the items up. Looking nice. good. Nice. Directed camera is on. Chicken Lord Nightwave has been a little cheeky in the jungle. Ooh, I like it. moving around. Here, co here comes the enemy. Let's see if they fall for it. This could be interesting. Oh, they're they're calling out. They don't know what's going on. Yep. 
I liked last week after the leash. There was there was some real aggressive play down here in this bottom lane. So I'm, yep. I'm the hot springs really doing good on their calls. Yeah. They're definitely letting them know. Hey, look, we seen somebody. We seen movement. Yeah, Vigar is even kind of uh, slipping in there, and they're going to ward that top. They even give us a nice hello. They're yeah. like, we know, we see you. <laughs> yeah, we know you're hello. there. Yeah, nice job by the jungler there going ahead and, and warding that top, and then he's going to come to the bottom for the leash. So he can keep an eye on that and see if we try to invade up top. I don't think the Yellow Jackets are going to. It looks like both teams are going with traditional start here, so – Gonna have a leash off off both, I think. No, no, they're not gonna have a leash no, for the Yellow Jackets. So. Leash for Yellow Jackets. We're gonna go ahead and get lane yep. underway. Yep. And so we're gonna try to take lane advantage as opposed to jungle advantage. I like it, Chuck. I, I mean, I, I don't have a, a problem idea. with it. Yeah. I, I think that um, the leash may be a little antiquated in this season. Uh, it could be, and you know, Ramus can handle that that jungle just fine. He's so tanky. It'll take him a little bit longer to clear. But uh, he doesn't have an issue with that as far as health pull or anything. Got a stun right off the bat. Yeah, and, and they race to the ignite and, there. Oh, another stun right here. And they're going to have to force to be uh, use their heal, Chuck. Nice job by the Yellow Jackets yeah, getting that summoner spell. Yeah, we got two spell. summoners out. Yeah. Because they, they, they done the They use the flash, too. Yeah. yeah. Or, in my mistake, was that a different ability? Sometimes no. Confused. No, it was a flash and then a heal also. So, both summoner spells are down. Okay, there we go. Chicken Lord trying to get under tower there. Oh, Give him yeah. a few licks on the way out. Yep. Yes. Getting a good solid push here in the bot. Yeah, Yellow Jackets definitely have lane control in this well, we bottom lane. We don't have vision on, up the river, and they do. So, I mean. Yep. And Ramus, though, is catching up to Udyr in the jungle there, Chuck. So, doing a very nice job of clearing that jungle even without the leash. Support guy going in. Oh, yeah. Hard and heavy again this week. Yeah. He likes that Moo Moo play. Yeah, he does. Ooh, Annie taking over the mid lane. Solid. Up. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. Yep. We can handle gonna, that. Going to force the healing potion out of the Vigar there. Yeah, we got a, we get, we're getting a dip in the jungle from, from Hot Springs. I don't blame him. Annie needs to play a little safe there just in case. Ram is about to get yeah, into in the jungle. That's here. actually the top laner there, and I think they're going to try to squeeze oh, in yes. on on Ramus, but Ramus sees it and gets out of there. Sure enough, good play by our jungler, recognizing that coming in. And, and look, yeah. our mid lane's now with Ramus going. Yeah, now one. Chicken Lord's going to be careful here. Now he's got both coming up on him yeah. here. Yeah, this is going to hurt bad. Yeah, Chicken is, Lord ain't going to be able to get out. No, of this. he's not about to get out of that. No, and he tried to come up. Oh. Ramus is there to protect Tower. Um, yep, Gangplank gets the better end of that there. Nice play by Hot Springs. Uh, slipping in there and taking out. Try to take out the jungler, but jungler wasn't going to fall for it. And so they end up getting the top laner on the dip there. He was trying to collapse there, Chuck. And uh, if he would have, I think it would have been a two-on-two. -two, but he just got there just a little bit late. So... Still have a very nice push. They're gonna, they are gonna—they got to know that Udyr is probably floating around bot here. Uh, they do have that warded, so Ghost Dragon's going to know as soon as Udyr shows up here, he's going to call it. Good job by these Yellow Jackets. Udyr they're trying to use the stun. Yeah, they're trying to go right in. Nice stun Ooh, by the support. In. Ooh, yeah. They're going to have to dive tower to get this. Uh, oh, to cover. man, he gets the Ghost shield Dragon up there. Gets away. Yeah. Of, they, yeah. they get the Udyr, so they turn that gank around there, Chuck. I love it. Very much, very much so. 1-1. One, one. Chicken Lord getting yeah, some nice nice poke in here. Ram is coming, coming on the, the bottom, bottom lane. Now yeah. that he knows that there's no jungle. And it looks like our mid is dipping. This could be a good gank down here if they can get one of them secluded or one of them CC. Yeah, Ghost Dragon's going to have to be careful. He's really low here. He knows Oh, it, they got the range man, for this. Nice job with that support guy. Yep, absolutely. He is just nice fearless with his game. ADC, Chuck. I mean, he is just fearless. He, he's going to go for that stun every single time. He doesn't care. And now we got Dragon, definitely. Um, Should be able to collapse on Dragon, uh, yes. They, they do have a little goat advantage, but we are um, we got a kill up on them. Chicken Lord's holding his own in top. 
Ghost Dragon needs to be careful here because Udyr is definitely going to come in, and that would be the first person that I would go for. Yep, he's going for it. Ram is trying oh, to keep him off. Oh, nice just... stun, man. That was a nice Ooh, stun. and they counter it. Yeah, they counter it. He goes it. down. And Ghost Dragon is going to get the jungler again, Chuck. He's going to make him pay twice. Varus is trying to come down here. Man, they're, they're really they wanting to kind of test this. There with the... Yeah. Yeah, Yellow Jack is going to have to abandon that, but that's okay. They were able Chicken to exert some really nice time. pressure here. Nice job by Ramus here, avoiding and then the Vigar. He takes yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's, he's doing a nice job here, Chuck. I think he gets out of that. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, nope. He doesn't make it there. And this is going to flip the script here for Hot Springs. They're going to have a chance to get this dragon. Yep. Sure enough. Um, I don't know if they can, yeah, if, if Clinton can pull him off of that. They're going to have to make a pick on what, what they I do. I don't know. The the ADC and the support are coming right back in here, and even though they're all circling timing around here. Everything. Yeah. Timing is everything. Timing was everything for that. Hot Springs definitely taking advantage of the timing. Yep. So they are on Dragon, but uh, our mid laner is just going to elect to go ahead and push that mid tower truck, and I think for the first Dragon, that's probably the right move there. Yeah, yeah let them have that the, Dragon. The first Dragon's not that big of a, a buff. Ooh, taking so. tower hit. If Ramus can see, see this guy, yep. there is a chance. He doesn't, mm, have, spin, yeah. he doesn't have his ultimate. If he had his ultimate there, I think that they, they got that no problem. But Red yeah. team does end up taking the Dragon. Hot Springs does get the Drake, so that, that first objective will go to them. So they're going to have to watch out on the Annie here in the mid. He's going to rotate up to the jungler. That's a very, very smart move by our Annie. Calling for help here. Going to have to be careful. Good deep, good defense right there, Chuck. They didn't know exactly what all was in that, that uh, jungle brush there, so Hot Springs, uh, wise decision to just back off that because they did not know where Mordekaiser was at. And Yellow Jackets are definitely owning this bottom lane down here for sure. They're really getting a nice push. So, But this is a really dead even game right now. I mean, the, these really teams are is. both playing really well against each other. So, Golden Dragon going to Hot Springs along with the kill count if you want to get technical on it. Yeah. But, um, man, it's close. Yeah, it's by, very, by very close. Here. Yeah. Oh, nice stun here again. Like I said, he's really just he – he is just fearless when it comes to jumping in on the enemy. Almost gets a stun on the Vars there. That he has so much faith in what his ADC can do. It's just – he knows he has free reign to just jump in just about any time that he can get the opportunity. And he's going to continue to do that, and I, I love it. I think he should. Ram is clearing out some jungle. They're spending a lot of time in our jungle here. We're going to have to eventually punish them for that at some point, Chuck. Uh, got Gangplank coming down here into our jungle. Said, oh, we got a, we definitely got a uh, guy gang down to a support guy. That's okay. That's okay. That's that's a nice gank there by Hot Springs. They almost had to eat that one too. Ghost Dragon getting a ton of damage off on them, making them pay for coming down here. And, man, they're going to try to get him, and well, I think they will. Ult, yeah. They got him with that exhaust, and that, that slows down Samira enough that it, it makes it tough to try to get that extra burst damage off. Oh, nice flash through there, Chuck. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nightwave is going to go down. So counting on that. And yeah, he but out the Tibbers. Tibbers. Tibbers going crazy. In Tibbers the is lane. not going to have it. <laughs> Tibbers going crazy in the mid lane, yo. Yep. Gangplank is, is trying to dip down here, but our Ramus is just going to go ahead and drop into the jungle. Good job by him. To forcing Gangplank to come down here. Now our top should be able to get a shove off this Chuck. He's he up there all by himself. He knows where Gangplank's at. He knows where the jungler's at. He should be able to get some plating right here. Mm, backs off, plays it safe. Uh, he can, he's got this other wave right here, so he should be able to at least get a free back out of that, one way or the other. Here comes upriver. Yep. He hadn't seen it yet. Yep, now he's, now he's making the move. It's going to work out okay. Yeah. It's going to be just fine. I said game's still real close right now. We are built for those team fights. Yeah. It's, it's, the longer this goes, I think the, the it does favor the Yellow Jackets a lot. Now, Vigar does get a lot stronger late game. 
So that is going to play Bad guard's in. Bagar's always an issue. I mean, like I yeah. said, Bagar's so. always an issue. Ooh, going Man, in on this. Yeah. This is nasty right here. Yellow jacket's all in. Yep. Eating the block, trying to jump down. Oh, can they get him? No, no, he gets away. he gets away with that uh, bubble there, Chuck. And they've got four down there in that bottom lane. They're just choking it up. Yeah, there's. And there's, they brought they brought the whole house down there, Chuck. Yeah, they collapsed just the right time. Had plenty yeah, they of time did. to save him. Yeah, it was went, so went close. all in and, and should have backed off there. Well, they I don't think that they knew that the Vigar was saying. dipping. Yeah, you you know, know. They, they had no idea. They didn't so. have vision on it. And I mean, like, nope. Like, they should have known they didn't know. <laughs> like, well, sometimes. that was so close to, to it getting was close. The, I'm not judging. the Udir there. Yeah. I think they thought they had, and if they got the Udir, I think they turn around and they, they you know, went up the fight. Went up the fight but right. they just didn't quite get him. This. This gangplank is really roaming a lot, Chuck. I mean, a lot. They, they're going to have to punish him for roaming so much. They're either going to have to get the top lane shoved to punish him for not being in lane, or they're going to have to get him in our jungle because he's just roaming at will. Yeah, he does. Have, he got those two plates, put the yeah. pressure on Chicken Lord, and then after that, he's just kind of, yeah, put just, it on yeah. Chicken Lord to take care of it. Yeah, Chicken Lord gonna have to be careful here. Udir's coming up top. He doesn't have vision, so he doesn't know he's there. We do, but he doesn't, so. Nice job, I They may try to dive him anyway. They've got minion control there, so I, yeah, they are. I believe they will. Now, if he has his ultimate, he should be able to take care of that, no problem. But I'm not sure he does. They, Yeah, they're gonna collapse on him and get him up there in that top tower. That's a nice dive by Hot Springs there. Yeah, they take tower off that one. Yep, they sure do. So they're able to generate enough pressure on this top lane here. And Chuck. they don't. Yeah. Not yet. Nope. They're still pushing it, but let's see I was expecting to have if, more damage up there. Yep, let's see if they do get the Orn. I think they do here. Yes, they do. Yes. Nice job by the Yellow Jackets. Samira trying to get the Vargas. Not quite enough range on that ultimate, but does force him to clear out. And this should clear up the Dragon for these Yellow Jackets, Chuck. It should, but... We'll We've see what they them. choose to do, but they, they should be able to take this. If they'll just hurry up and burn this down. Um, Udyr, rushing back to save his lane. Yeah, because Udir and because Gangplank are both just screaming. Now they're going to be able to roam. Yeah. We, we was talking about punishing him. We won't have the ability to punish him at this point. No, but he does save that tower, and that's good that he got up there and was able to save that tower because they really need that for just a little bit of insurance there. Yeah. Yellow or Jackets do get a jury. Yeah. They're going to need him for team fights and they're going to have to count him out. Yep. Oh. Good job by the Yellow Jackets getting that objective. They really needed that. So that's 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 good for them. Yep. Gold's out of the hand right now. Yes, definitely. Definitely item up. Um, Hot Springs item up. So I can tell the bottom lane's really wanting to push the issue here, but they just don't have the wave to crash in right now. If they, if they would have had one more wave to crash there, then they could have really, really pushed Hot Springs in this Yeah, it looks lane. like we're going to go for a gank in the mid. Here comes Colonel Gerbfield right up to the top. Night wave oh. gets out. Tibbers outside the ring of death there. Man, so close, Chuck. I think one more hit from uh, Annie there, and it would have been – man, we did, we've got two or three plays now just sticking out of my head that's we're, – we're just and close had, to closing the gap on. And they had they were all in the right place at the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, them having four bought that one time was just kind of uh, you just know, happy that they were moving. Yeah, in that it happened that they they were moved in and collapsed, and we weren't. I mean, it really could have went either way there. Man, I wish he had his ultimate here because I think he could push them off this tower. But there's really not a whole lot he can do with the Orn. Oh man, he was waiting, waiting. Oh. Man. Yeah, get the kill over Man, the Man, Ramus is so – if Ramus is like two seconds earlier, Chuck, then that doesn't end that way. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Chicken Lord rotating down. Now he's got to go through the jungle. He will find contest if he does. No, there there we go. Good deal. Yep. He's going to protect that tower. He knows he can't let that mid tower go down. Going to pull him under. Nice. Yep. Stays out of the deal. Still yep. ends up Game getting the Game gets a tower. Yeah. But, but good job rotating up. Tough first so match here yeah. by Hot Springs. Yeah, Hot Springs looking really sharp, Chuck. They've done a lot, a lot of roaming. and got a, we, we haven't punished them for roaming. That's 
that's been the big thing that, I, that sticks out to me in this game. They've done way too much roaming, and we're not making them pay for it. We, we can't let them roam that much. Here comes four. They're going to just bring another dive down here. I said they're just yeah, going to bring the whole house. Yeah, they're they going to bring the whole house. Uh, I don't think – I think they do get Orn out of that, yeah. They do. Yeah, good job on the them bringing all four like that. That's that's very nice by the Yellow Jackets. Good job. Shoot, didn't mean for that to happen. Whoops. Yellow Jackets trying to clean up here, and they do, man. That Samira is going to go ahead and get the shutdown on both bottom laners, and now this is going to free up Annie. Well, here comes the jungler, though. I thought Annie was just about to get a free uh, play here on this mid tower, but man, Udir coming in, getting away from the Tibbers. Now Tibbers, now that Annie's down, mm -hmm. Tibbers gonna get hard. They've gotta get away from it and they do. Yep, they do. If you ride the bus, now's the time to go. I couldn't, mute. sorry I couldn't mute it. Um, it's being weird again. Man, that's about the fourth time that I've seen their jungler down that low, Chuck, and he just barely lived through whatever he was in so he he's done very very nice job of staying uh, just not giving away about four kills if we if we had those four kills just on the jungler then then we're looking at a totally different ball game right here but still plenty of time for these yellow jackets they just got to keep it held together they're gonna have to make this team fight we're gonna have a dragon coming up here soon so they really really got to uh punish all the roaming Except whenever four of them show up and the bottom lane. trying to cut him off and he yeah. finds the escape through the jungle. Yeah, Good jump he's got the Remus. taunt, so nice job there. Oh, nice pullback. Works out great. Gets him in the ring. Can he hold it together? Yep. Yes, they do. Nice get the job game. by the Yellow Jackets. Now they finally punished him for all his Roman, Chuck. Yeah. Mordecai's going to know rotate the... down. Like I said, I, I think from this point on, the Yellow Jackets need to start grouping up and team fighting. I really it does do. look like that's what you're trying to do, but they got to be mindful of that top lane. Yeah, they need to get set up for this for this Drake. They really do. Bottom lane has rotated to mid. That's it that's a good like advantage for. It looks for the. Um, yeah, this is good for the Yellow Jackets here, really, because yeah. they're calling for the Drake, but they don't realize yeah. that mid lanes are our bottom lane's already for the down Drake there. And Hot Springs is Man, for we, the we should have collapsed on that. We're a little too late there, but here comes Ramus in. And try to get the taunt on somebody. Gangplank's coming in from the top. And he does get the Poor kill there. Very out. nice job. Chicken Lord stuck in the middle by oh, himself. Oh, man, yeah. Running down, running down the Annie. And he doesn't have the ultimate. Man, oh, nice stun there. Oh, almost gets out with the plant there, Chuck. I know that's what he was going for. Yellow Jacket just barely losing out again. Look how close that is, Chuck. Look how close that is. So close. Man. So close. They should have had that. This is going to hurt bad. Yep. This is going to hurt. This allows them to go for both. Yeah. Yeah. This this is allows them. They've got about a 10K gold lead, so that's going to be about an item and a half across the board. So, Yellow Jacket's already at a disadvantage with that. So they, they're going to have to group up and team try to rewind and team fight this again. They're not going to be able to do this individually. There's no way. You're right. They're, they're got to be defensive. And, and they're going to have to they're going to have to be able to know who's where and why they're there. Yeah. It does not look like communication has been been Yellow Jacket's strong suit this game. No. And they re they really need to collapse See, like we've on got, something. We've got yeah. split. Yep. They should be able to get Gangplank right here. He should not be able to get away with that. No, now now they've got not. four into the dragon pit. Yep. Now, ooh, the way we're divided. is not good right not now. Not good. No, no. Now we got four together. Yep. Now if they can rotate up here, they'll be fine. But now Drake's already gone, so there's really no reason for them to other than to try to cut off uh, Poor the gate coming in on Annie out. here. Yep. I think any any does have a no. That's not a ward there for us. That's their ward. Okay, they knew because they had a ward there, and he didn't realize it. So Annie's going to get caught out here. And then our team. Yep. Yeah, the jungler. Coming in from yep. Man down in the fight. If they can even things up, they do. Nice. Ooh, two of them get stunned by that. Yeah. Bygar. 
Chicken Lord trying to get a little health back off this. Man, Ooh, he's close, close, Ooh. so close. So We're close. so close every time. It's that item. Yeah. You know what? I mean, it's the it's the gold lead. That's it's, it's it's one item. We won item that way. fight. Yeah. We won that fight without the gold lead difference. Yep. Like I said we're we've just been so close to to sealing the deal on these, but we're not able to. So, looks Here like Hot Springs is going to get to push in. Not going to uh, have a, a chance. Lot. No. Just trying to get them out of there, trying to beat them back. There's no tower protection for no. Annie, so Annie just goes down. Yep. Almost see how close the Vigar is. I mean, it's just they're they're so close to getting these kills, Chuck. Just not quite able to finish it off. This is still a match that they can win, but it's going to be very, very tough, Chuck. They're going to have to. They're going to have to win a team fight. They're going to have to get an objective. I mean, they're that far behind at this they're point. They're going to have so. to click that thousand dollars bounty. Mm, yeah, yeah. To start off with. Yeah. And they're going to have to be able to get that vision up. I mean, from the start, Hot Springs has had better vision and better map control. Yep. Yeah, if you look at it right now, all I see is red wards across the map. I don't see a single blue ward front. Well, there is one now. Uh, yeah, we've, we've definitely not won vision at all. So, Of course, it's easy to say when you when you already lost the areas, but uh, just a few times I've seen where they knew where we were at and we didn't know where they were at. Yeah, we just tell. yeah it's, it, it's definitely made a difference. No doubt. That Yellow Jackets still have a chance here. They just they're just really gonna they're gonna have to win a team fight. And then if they can win a team fight and maybe get Baron, uh, get a nice shove in to kind of equal things up a little bit here, then I think they'll be all right. But uh, until they do, and there's our telltale, tattletale uh, glitch here. So yeah. Ramus trying to lead the charge, trying to front line here with the support guy. So. Looks like that they are going. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get uh, Mordekaiser here. That's a five on one. There's no way that he comes out on the top of that. Looks like they're just gonna gut this mid right here. Chuck's what I'm gonna guess. Yeah, yeah. And knowing that the the telltale sign. I know, we, uh, we, man. We, that glitch is so it's so bad. That's so bad. But, I'd rather have the jump start glitch we can than see that. Their, we can see their faces. Oh yeah, we, yeah. We know they're across we the lab know. over there, but there's there's no. Uh, uh, victory yelling going on or anything like that. So we know, we know how this is going to go down here. Hot Springs played a very nice game, Chuck. They played as a team. Well, you know, we, we, we tried a different look there. I questioned that to begin with. Uh, but, um, hey, you know, sometimes you just got to try that. Yeah, sometimes you just got to try I'm and hoping, see what happens. I'm hoping that they see where they can bring it come, come the second game. Because we wouldn't pull her off. No. I said there there was about four, I said earlier, four different times that the other team kind of got out of there and got away and got out of hand. And if the Yellow Jackets were able to polish those off, then they wouldn't have been in the deficit that they're in right now. Yeah, but there, there's no blame here. I mean, you know, we got our Ghost Dragon in the bot, ADC, along with support. They, they, they play excellent together. Yep. But if we're going to... If they're going to be carrying top, then our bottom's got to out carry them. Yep. And I think sometimes we think, well, we got a bottom carry, but we're not winning the bottom enough to justify abandoning right. the top. And we're still early in the season too, Chuck. They're going to have to get some of these kinks worked out. I, I still like their draft. I think they did excellent with their draft. I don't see any issues there. And vision's going to help out a lot. Right. Um, and I think getting people in the right positions in the right. The right character is going to help a lot. Yeah, I really think we were built for team fights. I like, like you was talking about the draft. We we done good in the draft and we had a good team fight. Uh, but when it came down to it, we lost too much of the lane war to be able to get to those team fights. I agree. We're just a little bit too far behind them. Just once they got that one item advantage, we weren't able to turn it around. We'll see what happens in game two. But they just it just became too big of a disparage. Uh, especially 40k to 53k gold advantage right here. Uh, so nice gameplay 
by this Hot Springs team. Yeah. So game one's going to go to Hot Springs. Nice job Very by good them. Job. I want to make sure I got this up. Here's your her, here's her telltale sign. I just want everybody to be able to see that. And I want to be able to get the... There we go. Yep. All right. And we're getting set for round two here, Chuck. And it looks like we're going to be blue team again. Uh, it's supposed to swap, but I, I, I bet they're swapping around. I'm not sure. I'll be right back. Nice gameplay by the Yellow Jackets in the first game. They just came up a little bit short. Uh, just got a little bit behind. Never could catch, quite catch that ground back up after they did. So we'll see what they do in this uh, second game to try to uh, rectify the situation a little bit here. So we're going to go right into the draft. Glad that they're off and running. And we're going to get the first bands here, see what Chicken Lord comes up with here for the bands in this draft. I mean, I don't really see uh, one champion that just sticks out on top of my head as big far as, you can if, you know, if maybe if we would have banned them, we would have won. I, I just really don't see that. I think our bands were good and strong. I really liked your team comp. So I think we just got a little bit behind there. Maybe got a little bit discouraged. Didn't win a, a couple of those fights that I thought we should have won. Um, and just got too far behind and just couldn't make up that ground. So I, st I still really like the draft. Yeah, yeah. Like both teams, I, I probably would throw the Udir out. It was he was pretty strong, um, but their ADC was really strong and, and able to just command that bottom lane. So nice job understood. by their Varus there, and their support too for making it happen on the Orn. I mean that was a good combo, gave a good one-two punch. So, I'll beat it out of you. Uh, they were able to really hold their own and, and excel in that bottom lane even after the slower start. So Vi out here too. So two junglers banned. Set's going to be banned. The gin's going to be banned. They don't want to see the gin. Uh, do have a very strong gin play at that range. No Zyra. They, they want the Zyra out of here. So, uh, going to go ahead and get them, uh, get Zyra out of there and not allow that in the game. And we're going to have the first pick here again uh, by these Yellow Jackets. So, we'll see what they decide to play. And it looks like we may get a Warwick here for the jungler. It could be a top laner. We're going to go Cassante, a uh, new champion of the game, only been in the game for a couple of months now, I think. Very strong champion, typically a top laner. We'll get Chuck back in here. I had to, had to take the sweater off. <laughs> <laughs> I already did that. It's, it's, it's getting that time of year where it's jacking in the morning and short sleeves and from noon on. So Wukong going to be picked by Hot Springs. Good choice for jungle and, and there. Very, that's his name yeah. too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sure enough, that's the that's his name. We may see another Scion here, Chuck. We saw a Scion last week, but no, it's like choosing between the Gwen, uh, the Jax, the Cho'Gath. I guess they're trying to make, and they're going to pick the Samira this time. So they're oh, going to have the Samira. Yeah. Let's see what they do with that. And say, hey, we'll show you how to play Samira down here, uh, Ghost Dragon. So, going to have another anti. Sticking with the Tibbers, Chuck. I mean, still, I, and they're really, I didn't see a problem with the Tibbers play. It looked good. Like I said, just very, very close uh, on several of those one-on-ones to getting those. So, Jarvin. Yep, Jarvin for the jungle. I like that pick. Jarvin's very good in the jungle. Uh, very good with that trap, so maybe they're thinking, you know, that for the CC to help them out a little bit. Zig's coming in for Hot Springs. Zig's very, very good at pushing lanes. Uh, Zig's and Heimerdinger both very similar in that fashion. They uh, banned the been able to push lanes. The Amumu. Yeah, ban the Amumu out. I don't blame them on that. I would ban the Amumu too. We didn't see the dominance out of the Amumu that we saw uh, last Nobody. week. But he he's made a factor. Still, yeah, yeah he, he, he definitely the factored in. The fact that in. he's so aggressive and can get back out bothers bothers people. Yeah, I would bother Shall each I turn in my badge and Just right knowing that he has well. both those stuns and then he has his ultimate Man stun on, on top of that. Yeah. 
No I wonder rails. What, wonder what they seen on that Caitlin, because that's not something we typically. No idea, Chuck. Maybe it's just a comp they don't want. Maybe they just don't want that long range. Uh, a lot of people don't like playing against Caitlin. Oh, I don't like playing against Caitlin her, because she has the longest range of any ADC, so she can really sit back and auto attack you. They're gonna go with the Zeri, so they're gonna have two really uh, bottom laners. They, they, they're running some. They're running some meta comps, Chuck. They're not running a typical comp again. Don't really have a tank here. Um, Got character like I said, true ADC. Yeah, Nautilus, I like that. Bring the big guy hey. down to the bottom lane. I, I love all his stuns. Yeah. yeah, I really like Nautilus. I played Nautilus uh, quite a bit when I first started playing the league. Uh, he's fun to play. He's a little more challenging to play. Tom Kinch. Yeah, Tom mm. Kinch. Ooh, There's their like, tank, Chuck. Yeah. I spoke too soon. Yep. Yeah. Tom Kinch. And Ghost Dragon's going to elect to play the Zaya down here. He does play uh, Zaya very well. He has several, several ADCs that he plays, so it really doesn't matter for him as far as He doesn't get he banned out. No, he's not going to get banned out. Uh, most of our other uh, players aren't really either. I mean, they've got three or four champions that they play pretty regular that they're comfortable with. Uh, some they might just prefer a little more than others just because it's a more of a comfort pick, but they know the game well enough now that they're not really going to be able to, to get banned out, so... I'm excited to see this Nautilus play. This could be a Tom Kinch and Zeri combo in the bottom. I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe Ziggs plays mid. Who knows? Like you said, there's not much of a. It's not uncommon for them to play something off meta. Right. Yeah. You never. And it, the the thing about league is it changes on a weekly basis based on the patch. So you could see a meta one week and then not see it again maybe the rest of the season just depends on if it gets nerfed or if someone else gets uh buffed enough that that they can override that you know previous buff so uh, uh, that happens all the time these players have to keep up with league and the changes on patches and what's happening with items and i'm really of that surprised nature. to see chicken lord on Cassante. hey well we'll see what happens here i, I like the Cassante pick myself he is yeah, very strong not, but not not seen it yeah of course, Chicken Lord's one of those. He just likes to try something new. Oh, yeah. I think he'll do very well on the Cassante. I, I got a feeling. Okay, we got about two minutes here before we'll actually kick off. We're on a three-minute delay timer for anybody that's watching and doesn't know. So, as soon as they get rolling, we'll... We'll get this match going and see who comes out on top now. If the Yellow Jackets didn't win the first first match, if they do win the second match, they would go to a third match. I believe that's right. In yes. pre or in regular season. I believe that they may just be one and one. I can't remember. I think we play in regular season to go a full three, don't we? I have to look at they've changed. I mean, they've changed it a couple times, and so it's hard for me to keep up with. But I, I do. I think you're I think, right. I think yeah. it is best of three. Yeah, I think we go best of three. So hopefully these Yellow Jackets can put a run together here and and get to the team fight phase and get those extra uh, uh, couple of takedowns that they didn't get in the first game and even this thing out, Chuck. Yeah, I mean, we already know that Colonel Garfield's going to be playing Annie as opposed to Night Waves. I'm wondering how much the other team's paying attention to that. I mean, I'm just curious to see if, because their Annie play is different. They don't play Annie the same. No, they don't. And their jungle plays a little different. They both play jungle very well. I said, they... they at this point, they've been in the program enough that they've all played different lanes, different roles. They, they yeah. pretty much understand, you know, yeah, what they're trying to do. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a couple that you can't just throw in anywhere, but the yeah. other three, yeah, they they, they can, can play, play something anywhere. somewhere yeah. somehow. They have enough game knowledge that even if it's not a lane that they typically have played that much, they at least know what they need to do. They know how not to feed. Yeah, I we mean, got two that probably couldn't play jungle, but other than that, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the only role that we would have. Uh, and maybe they know more about it than we think, Chuck. I mean, they might be able to just roll right through that jungle uh, with no problems. No, they might. No. <laughs> you know, I mean. I'd be nervous. They've, seen, they've seen it enough, though, that. All right. We had a. A crash right off the bat. Full memory dump. 
Yes. Again. All right. Well, let's get League back up. We'll be. See if they'll let us reconnect here. We're just being plagued by this beginning in the early season here, Chuck. I don't know. Well, that's what because the... we didn't have to jump start the last one. We're going to have double the. Oh, mm -hmm. hey! There we go. Y'all see it coming up here in a minute. Yep, there we go. So we didn't lose nothing, and it looks like it's going to automatically start. Am I speaking too soon? Oh! Hey, maybe that dem memory dump was a good thing. It's unusual for a memory dump like that, but yeah, we won't try to examine it too much. Just. We're not going to look to... I love that reverse Annie, though. Yep, I do, too. We didn't have time to see who won the skin war. We I may believe, have done better with that. I believe they won the skin war again, Chuck. I, I was looking. I was trying to catch it there. But 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 we had reverse Annie. And we do have the Tibbers uh, plushie over here with us. So, I mean, that gives us, like, two skins, doesn't it? I think the reverse Annie, though, by default wins all. Well, oh, yeah. that it, you, you did mention last time that was last two skins. Time, that, yeah, it is two skins because Annie's wearing a skin and Tibbers is wearing a skin. It, it makes sense because it doesn't make sense. No wall warnings. I'm going to take this very important phone call. It will be a Ziggs in the mid lane, and Ziggs trying to get a little bit of free damage off here. Does with the first, second poke doesn't go, so. Yellow Jackets are not gonna leash again this time, so they're they're going away from the leash here. Didn't really matter last time. I mean, as far as jungle clear speed, they, they were still able to clear jungle just about as fast as Hot Spring, so. I, I like the decision to just go ahead and, oh, Samira's gonna be in the top lane, okay. Yep, playing a little meta up here. Ghost Dragon support guy trying to act like that they are actually. Oh, nice stun right here, right off the bat. Nice job by Nautilus. Gets that hook right off the bat. Now he's gonna be careful. He's getting stunned here, but now Nightwave's not gonna not, not gonna leave him unattended there. So nice little surprise attack there by the Yellow Jackets. I like it. This is Hot Springs in the red. Yellow Jackets are in the blue. Said support guy trying to, he's going to get another hook here, and he, but he's going to get it on the Tom Kinch this time. So nice job by our support player being very aggressive. He knows he can play aggressive with this uh, ADC that he's playing with. Knows he can, he can go in and take those chances and really not get punished for it. So Annie trying to get a little pushback here. He's outranged by the Zig. So it's going to be a little bit tougher starting off, but yep. Good job by Nightwave. Just going to go ahead and help cr try to get that out. And, man, nice job by the mid laner there with the flash. Uh, flash into the ignite to get the ante. So, strong start by that by their player there in the mid lane. Hot Springs up 1-0 uh, right now. So, Nightwave going to try to get in here and get the Samira. They're going to get the slow on them. And, man, they're, it's, it's, they're going to end up punishing the Yellow Jackets here. Man, so close, so close. Wukong going to come in and take the tote. Almost takes too many tower shots there. Nice aggressive play by the Yellow Jackets. I like it. Didn't quite turn out, but they didn't give up the kill from the Cassante there. Man, Colonel Garfield going to have to do a little bit more juking and jiving and dodging here on these pokes. Man, Ghost Dragon did not see that coming, I don't think, because he went up to Ward. So trying to get the Zeri, trying to push out here, trying to pump out some damage. Got to watch for the Tom Kinch with the the dive there. Gets a root again. Really getting after the support there. And Zyra's going to be able to finish it off. Nice job by Ghost Dragon getting that kill there, pumping out the damage. Very nice job by the support guy on the Nautilus, though. Getting those surprise stuns. Just being a menace in this bottom lane. Now Wukong is going to try to rotate down here, so I have to be careful. They've got enough health to deal with it, though. Zeri's going to back, so if they do happen to come down to this bottom lane, it's it, it'll be a two-on-one. Trying to stop the back there by Nightwave. 
Always like seeing that. They are playing the Samir in the top lane there. Man, Wukong trying to get the gank there on Colonel Garfield. Nice job by Colonel Garfield. Backing out of there. Seeing it coming in. Said Cassante going to be a little outranged here. But I think can deal with the Samir really well once once we get to the ultimate stage. I think it's going to change, change the way that that top lane gets played there. Said... Their top laner really liked to roam last match, so they're going to have to get Chicken Lord to try to keep him busy enough to not let him be able to roam. Had swapping hits, but Chicken Lord doing a good job of farming so far. And yeah, they just completely swapped lanes on that. Said Cassante got to be careful in that top lane. They're trying to set him up with the gank there. It'd be really nice if he could let the Wukong just keep wasting time up there. Every minute that he's sitting up there and not being productive, then that gives the Yellow Jackets an edge and time, more time to farm. Colonel Garfield has to be careful. Doesn't know that the Wukong is back there, I'm sure. So he may try to dive in on that just because he's such low health. So, yeah, Ziggs does get the poke there, but Annie's going to say, nope, I'm getting out of here. Man, he gets him on the flash. I, I don't think that should have landed, but he, he did flash out of there, but the Wukong still gets it. I can't – man, I, wow, I'm, I'm surprised by that. And then the top laner is going to take down the Chicken Lord up there. Chicken Lord's going to have to play a little uh, bit different game here, I think. Said Samir is going to be tough to deal with in top lane is meta anyway, but going to have to make sure to keep – it's, it's going to be tough. He's got, he needs to keep pressure, but he needs to stay back enough that he's not going to engage on any one-on-one. -on -one. Hot Springs having very good communication here, letting each other know what's going on. And Yellow Jack is going to try to sneak in here and get this dragon. I'll see if they can pump out enough damage to get it before – Hot Springs can react. I think they will. They're doing a very nice job of getting this, getting this dragon fired up here. So, see if Night Waves can get the smite there. I believe he can. Oh, come on, Night Waves. Come on, come on, come on. Nice job. He does get the smite there. Going to return to bottom lane. Going to see if they can maybe, maybe get Hot Springs to push in a little bit here and catch them off guard. I said Nightwave doing a little camping. Now, he doesn't know that the Wukong is right there, so I have to be careful because Wukong can collapse on top of that. And I'm sure he will if he does see that that happens. So, had Yellow Jacks getting the shove there. He'd probably better just to go ahead and back. Yeah, and that's what he's going to do. Good job. Yellow Jackets get that shove in. Go ahead, go ahead and back. Get you get you your buy-in. So Zig's trying to be a terror. I like Colonel Garfield dealing with this very, very well, though. Knows that the Tiggs or Ziggs is gonna create all kinds of tower pressure, and he's just saying, you know what? I, I really don't care. I'm gonna play under my tower. You're gonna have to deal with me. Support guy, nice job on the root there. Man, they're they're getting a nice push on that. Do get the ignite on the Zeri, and he's gonna get the flash. Nice job, and I, he's gonna have to be careful because our support will come in there and stun him again, and he'll be toast. Nice job in the bottom lane, getting securing that kill there. Wukong's not going to come in on this yet. He may drop down here. I'm not sure. But it looks like for right now, he's going to just be uh, content. To, uh, he, he's hanging around there, so he may come on down. Nightwave and the Chicken Lord both getting in on the Samira. Hopefully they can finish this off. It's going to be tough to do. If they had minions there, they could definitely get that. Nice job by them just backing out of it. That's exactly what they should have done there. Go ahead and get this, this wave shove, and then don't worry about it. And Ziggs is coming. They're rotating up. Now, these, this Hot Springs team does a very nice job of rotating. Chicken Lord doesn't even need to rotate this. It, it, now he's going to be pinned in. They're going to come up from the bottom also. Um, man, he, yeah, he should have. they, they should have never went in on that, especially when they saw that mid was rotating up. Nothing they can do here. You're going to catch Colonel Garfield out. Man, that's that, that's rough. So it's so close. This is another time that they're so close to getting that, that kill and don't get it. It's the same story as from game one. That 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 hurts there. 
So they got to know that Hot Springs is going to collapse every single time. They just give up the lane completely just to go out. And if they're getting the kill, then they're getting the better end of it. If the Yellow Jackets don't let them get the kill out of it, then they're wasting time. So they got to make sure when they rotate that they let everyone know that, hey, my lane's missing. You know, that they're, they're not communicating well enough. They don't have enough vision uh, to be taking those risks. Said so if you see that your uh, laner is out of your lane, you have to assume that he is in the best position possible to take advantage of that. So uh, anybody else that is on the map has got got to be aware of that, and that's that's the big thing I see here by the Yellow Jackets. One to six, they're a little bit behind on gold, not much. Still doing good. It's just the kill count. It's not the farming at all at this point. So see if they can kind of even this thing back up here. See if they can go ahead and get a little bit. Uh, of a push into this next dragon here, hopefully. Nice hook again by the support guy, man. He is just playing. He's having a field day on this Nautilus. He's loving it. And he's going to get the root there again on the Tom Kinch. Said every time he does an auto attack, um, it, it does root them in place for half a second. So support guy just doing support guy things. I mean, that's all there is to say about it, Chuck. I mean, he's just he's, he's solid. He, he's fearless. He comes in. He believes in his ADC. He thinks his ADC is going to be able to win these fights, and most of the time he does, and it ends up paying off, and now they're going to try to get the ultimate on the Tom yep, Kitch, and man, the, yeah, right they do. Tower, he right goes right. Down. Oh, support guy goes down too for it, though, Couldn't Chuck. from underneath the tower fast enough. Nope. Um, this top laner putting all kinds of pressure. That's the thing. Um, I mean, we really can't complain that our hyper carry is not carrying as good as their hyper carry. No, our, our bottom lane is playing straight up pretty well. Um, earlier, uh, Hot Springs once again rotated four top this time instead of bottom. Uh, was able to get two kills out of it and get a good shove, and that's it's just basically been communication by the Yellow Jackets of, you know, if if you're uh, enemy is out of lane. Like I said, you need to assume he's in the best uh, position possible to take advantage of that. So if you think, oh, it would be really bad if Ziggs was in this top bush here, uh, guess what? That's probably where he's at. So you just got to be aware of that every single time. And that's what the Yellow Jackets need to do. Going to bust out the Tibbers, going to bust out the ultimate here. And I believe oh, they will get the, the Yeah, end. nice, nice, nice deal right there. Got the Ziggs. Nice teamwork right there by the Yellow Jackets. That's exactly what they need to be doing. They communicated that, hey, I'm going to ultimate into this, and then we get the cage by the Jarvin there, and they're just able to finish it off. So very, very nice job by them. Support guy coming in here once again doing support guy things. I said he, he is going to run in on any and everything because he believes that his ADC is going to win. And – that really helps him too, Chuck, because when you're, you know that, when you know that, okay, if my mid rotates down, I, I'm going to just go ahead and say eight times out of ten, my mid's going to win, regardless. Um, man, that's that's a great position to be in whenever you know you can put that kind of pressure on the opposite team. Hot Springs swooping in here to yep, get this dragon. I don't think that the Yellow Jackets can do much about it. No, I think but they probably should just concede that. Here and, um, support now, guy gets caught out again. Yeah, support guy does jump in on that now. He probably shouldn't have jumped in on that one. That, that was a little much there. Um, but considering that's much. his <laughs> mo, I mean, he just he probably at this point he just can't help himself, can he? I mean, he just has to no. do it, right? So they probably could have punished no, and, that Tom Kinch there. Big and, things to happen. Yeah. Um, and he having some troubles getting under the tower here. Yep, but I think Highly they're going to make this a mirror, yeah. Kill. That's a good job by the Yellow Jackets there. I'll, I'll take that Andy trade. does go down. Go Man, they're going to get go they, down. Yep, they, they and got now they're the, going to push that bottom tower. They're Man, if, if they didn't have the, the minion wave right there, Chuck, they couldn't have done that. So it's excellent timing by Hot Springs. No one. Chicken Lord trying to recover some of this. Yeah. He knows that their whole team's down here, so he wants to – Punish him being in there, and he looks like he's going to be taken out. Yep. Going to drop drop the Ziggs bomb right in the middle of him there, and then we're going to have Tom Kinch doing an excellent job of coming in and soaking up that tower damage for his team. So Hot Springs looks looks really good, uh, Chuck. Looks like they're really in tune. Looks like that they, they really played a lot together. They know what they're going to do. Uh, before they ever even get there, so they, they've had some they've had some excellent dives. I, I will give them that. There's been several times when they've been three to four player dives, and, and they've got what they wanted out of it. They got the dive, well, and they you got can the tell kill. The, 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 their, their team fighting the whole game. 
their, their communications allowing them to traverse the map they got vision they're sharing that so really that's that's what's that's what's causing the situation here i mean there's yeah. no no two ways about it um it's it's definitely evident that we can't be practicing duos and expect to win team fights nope Right here, Nightwave's going to have to get out of this. He's, he's a 2v1, and he's not going to be able to rotate up on that just because it's just it's just too much with Ziggs there also. Then you got a three-on-one all of a sudden. So, so to having to play on the back side of the tower, and like I said before the game, Ziggs is excellent with putting pressure on tower. That's what Ziggs does. And so, oh, he almost gets that chuck. If he gets that there, he might... I get that zig in a little bit of trouble, but that's the thing about Nautilus's hook. It will hook minions, so have to be uh, good with your timing whenever you're trying to get that hook on an enemy champion. Team all kind of joining up mid. But... Yeah, Hot Springs has all of their um, legendaries online. We don't have all of ours yet, so they definitely have an uh, item support advantage. Support guy gets caught out. Yeah, Nothing support he can guy. Do. No. Put a, put a tombstone on that one. Yep, yep. He just happened to get caught in the wrong place. He was trying to get vision there, so I'm really not going to Well, it looks put. like the same thing happened to, to them. Can he get away? No. Nope. He's not going to get away there. Not going to get away with that one, so. Oh, got a good stun here with the Annie. Going to go ahead and bust out the ultimate and does get it with the reverse tibbers there, Chuck. Nice job. Making them pay for trying to get Timbers. that tower. Yeah. Gonna have the ultimate coming out from Zaya here, trying to get on that Zeri. That's, that's yeah. a good job by. Tim's uh, really uh, hammering now that, that yeah. poor Annie's down, but it does look like they're gonna get away with it. Yep, they do. And I'm telling you, Chuck, it's because they got an item level advantage right now. Yep. But they got almost a 10K gold lead, and that's, that's the difference in that fight. If we had even gold right there, we win that fight. We didn't, it's so we just didn't have the damage. Fights when yeah. everybody's down on item. Yeah, it, it really is. You, you, even Especially if, you get if the they jump. buy the item that they need to shut your guys down. Right. And then it feels like you're fighting uphill. It feels like nothing you can do works. It's because they've got your, your character downloaded and installed. Yeah. And that's what you're seeing here. Uh, same thing in game one you're seeing in game two. Uh, the, at the end of those fights, Hot Springs has you know a quarter of their health left. But that's what they're getting away with, so they're not giving up the kill. And and they're winning by just that much. It's not very much, but they're still it's enough for them to win. Yeah. I said Ziggs is such a siege monster, whenever he gets a little bit of a lead like that, it is really, really tough to try to get him out of there. And now they're on the, the Tom Kench here, and he's just so tanky. Tank, yeah, I mean, you're putting all your DPS down into that. Yeah, they really need to is be focusing get him? on. They, they, Man, he's still hitting, going, but, but yeah, it's like it, it's just ridiculous it's amount. Been, yeah, it's been a lot of time yeah. on that. And I said he's just so inherently tanky anyway. It's not really that he has that much of an item advantage. He's just that tanky uh, on his own. And then the Samira just one on one there, Chuck. That's all it is. Yeah, knows knows where to go in and knows how to get get in there and get that one on one kill. So here we go uh, again. Like I said, the Samira is charging in again. Doing an excellent job keeping pressure. This allows them, because they've got the map rotated so hard now, this allows them to get that objective without the Yellow Jackets being able to come up and, and try to, to uh, shut that down. So the Yellow Jackets have to protect their base. Top has collapsed now. I said we're in the same boat we were in last time. We need an objective. We need, we need a dragon. We need, we need a tower. We need some kind of shove to – to put a little bit of pressure back on them so that they can't just uh, roam at will and do what they would like to do. So we'll see what these Yellow Jackets can do here. I said Hot Springs has played a very, very solid game, though. And they are going to catch the jungler out here now. They, they should make him pay for this, even with Wukong's ultimate. But, man, I think he's going to get out of here, Chuck. So, so close. And now this allows his team enough time to react. If they could have got him right off the bat there, the, this part never happens. And now the whole team's going to collapse in here on these yellow jackets, and they just they, they can't uh, can't do anything to counteract that. So 
So here comes Hot Springs in again. Looks like they're going to get to put some pressure on this mid lane here. Yep, they are. They do have a little minion wave here. It's not a whole lot, but this is probably going to be enough for them to get that tower, I would think. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I don't see... I mean, there's, there's nothing really... Even if you do come in on that, you're, you're just going to go down. So yeah. Ghost Dragon knows better than you just jump in on that. He's got to have more of a team. Yep, I agree. Now here, they're, the Yellow Jackets can fight this for sure, you know. But they're all, but they're they're targeting the tank again, Chuck. That's yeah. one thing. Yeah, that, the tank's not going to do that much damage. It's no. time to start attacking their their DPS, their ADC. Yep. Most definitely, those those have got to go down first. Yeah, and their, that's, their that's target the assignment difference. was completely awful. Both these games. Yep. Um. But the biggest thing is, you know. Short of just going, okay, now the laning phase is over, it's time to team fight. We don't team fight during the laning phase, and Hot Springs obviously does. Um, yep. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I don't think Hot Springs is prioritizing duos when they should be prior when they should be working on team fights. I said Yellow Jacket's trying to make a stand here, but it's just gonna be a uh, little too late, so nice job by Hot Springs. They're gonna get two W's in a row there, so Yellow Jackets will have the rest of this week to regroup and think about this, watch the video, see what they did wrong. I can tell you one thing uh, that sticks out in my mind is they're just a little bit little bit behind on the gold count uh, and the item and then not focusing the other team's uh, DPS, uh, focusing the Tom Kench too much. Uh, right. That really played into Hot Springs' hands there because uh, you see how long it's taken them to take the Tom Kench down and it's just too much time, Chuck. Too much time and too many abilities. Absolutely. As much as I hate to. Team right there is another uh, completely focused on the Tom Kinch there. There's no other damage really going out to anybody no, else. No, we can. I got I the mean, support guy up there. But they hate, uh, hate to do it. It's it's quite obvious what's going on. Everybody's on it. Yep. Everybody's on the Tom Kinch. Yeah. Tom Kinch don't put out that much damage. Nope. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show show the final tallies, but. Um, Good job by Hot Springs. Yep, very nice job by Hot Springs. They, they played an excellent team game. They played together. I mean, can't, can't uh, say anything about that other than, hey, they, they got the best of us today, Chuck. Yep, they do happen. All right, there's the final tallies. Good job to Hot Springs. Um, yep. You know, really, not a huge stat imbalance – as far as game time and stuff, I mean, nobody can really, nope. you know, yeah. I mean, you can tell who won by the stats, but. Yeah. I said, we'll, we'll be back streaming tomorrow. We should have some Mario Kart for you and some Smash. And so tune in uh, tomorrow and we'll have some more awesome esports actions here from the state of Arkansas.